Welcome back to Brush Up Your Game, and today, Cosmic Encounter Power Showdown Round 11. I know, I know, there's a lot of rounds. Round 11. Uh, this is the extractor bracket, and uh, up first, we have Empath versus Insect. Uh, Empath, basically the power to uh, get into deal situations, similar to Pacifist, but uh, yeah, getting into deals. Insect, new from Odyssey, Insect has the power to uh, basically get an extra power or I'll get a, a power. Some of your choice, if it's a random flare of a power not in the game, or a random one if you don't have a flare. And if you don't like that one, you can do it again. I like the transition of Insect. Got a, got a nice wild, got a nice super. Uh, empath fun but not great so uh, insect going to uh, move forward and that means that insect is going up against extractor now extractor also a uh, a new uh, cosmic odyssey expansion and uh, yeah so extractor and sorry, my scan is not amazing here. But um, as the offense or an offensive ally, if your side wins, you can use your power, all ships belonging to another player, even bystanders from the targeted planet. You, you can move them. Um, so you can move the ships from another player to one other planet before those ships would be lost. So... You can uh, give someone a foreign colony, and if you do, you get two rewards for each ship. If you move them back to their home system, uh, where they don't have a colony, you draw two cards at random from their hand. So this is a power where you're helpful to them, uh, you're helpful to yourself. Um, you gotta know when to use it. But I still think I like Insect more. I, uh, I, it's not that Extractor is without its merits. It's just Insect is better. All right. Which brings us to Lunatic versus Remote. So uh, Lunatic uh, is from Conflict. And, and, well, it starts, you have the power of Insanity. Uh, after allies are invited, you can use this power to ally against yourself without being invited, just like a, a lunatic would. Uh, your ships on the losing side are sent to the warp as normal, while your ships on the winning side receive what they would normally receive for winning. Basically, you have the power to ally on both sides, as long as you're invited by, by somebody. Remote, on the other hand... Uh, is, as a main player, after your side wins an encounter, you may use this power to turn one ship in an encounter belonging to one opposing player into a remote. You remove that ship from the game and place it on this sheet. Uh, as a main player, you may use this power to activate one or more of your remotes. After allies are invited, send each activated remote to the warp. Then the players who own the activated remotes are forced to ally with you for this encounter and must each send four ships. That can be brutal later on, when players don't actually have uh, four ships that they can really manipulate, uh, where they might have to abandon a, a colony, whether it's home or foreign. Um, yeah. Uh, it, I like both. I like remote more. Remote is meaner. Lunatic's fun, but you're still risking a lot just to ally on both sides. Um, Dervish versus Symbiote. I'm, I'm starting here with Symbiote because Symbiote's very simple. You get 20 more ships. And that's it. You just start the game with 40 ships. Uh, Dervish is a Cosmic Storm power. And as main player, after alliances are formed, you may use this power to call clockwise or counterclockwise. Each player involved in the encounter's main player or ally must pass their hand in the chosen direction. 
it's not that Dervish is amazing, although it can be, right? You can really shake things up. It's that Symbiote's just bad. Uh, it, not that I hate having 40 ships. I just, I would honestly rather have Zombie than Symbiote. I'd rather my ships be immune than just have a whole bunch of ships. Um, remote versus Dervish. I'm still going to be mean and devious versus just passing a hand of cards. I want to force my force people who have gone against me to ally with me in the future, even when they don't want to. Now, as far as insect versus remote goes, uh, insect, you're taking the chance at anything. But if you don't like it, you get it later. And I'm going to take that. I'm going to take the chance at anything over forced allies. I'm probably wrong. You can probably make the debate that remote's just better, but I like insect. All right. Oligarch versus Cosmos. Uh, oligarch from Eons. Get richer as others get poorer. You take five privileges as your essence card cash. You automatically start the game as the first player. You have the power of greed. Every time you draw a new hand of cards, including at the beginning of the game, you draw one additional card. Uh, you accumulate privileges up to the highest number of foreign colonies that has been reached by any player. Use this power when any anyone, whenever any one player has more foreign colonies than the number of your face-up privilege cards. Look through your essence card cash. Uh, choose one privilege. Play it face-up. Uh, if you're zapped, the privilege you attempted to play is removed from the game. And Oligarch has some very nice essence cards. Um, yeah. Oligarch doing some fun stuff. Being uh, selfish. Uh, sitting on their throne. Uh, Cosmos. We're going to see if this nicely searches. Probably not. Uh, mostly because it's in a lot of histories. And I'm going to actually think that Cosmos is a Odyssey power. It is. Look at that. There we go. So Cosmos, you have the power of rules. If you're not the offense, after the offense wins the encounter, you may use this power. Look through your essence card set. Choose one rule. Play it face up next to the sheet. Instead of playing a rule, you may choose to discard a rule that's already in play. Uh, the abilities on rules are available to all players. After another player uses one of your rules, you gain one reward. Um, see, I, I just... I would rather get my own rewards than give the rewards out to other people. Cosmos is, is cool. I like both of these. But if I gotta pick just one, which I do, I'm, I'm taking Oligarch. Um, Saboteur probably should have been removed from consideration a long time ago. Um, uh, I don't like Saboteur. Games with Saboteur are just annoying. And because of that, Assistant is moving on. Even if Assistant is the most garbage power in the world, it is better than Saboteur. So... Uh, for Assistant versus Oligarch, Assistant has the power to be helpful as a main player or ally after alliances are formed, but before encounter cards are selected, use this power if there are any other players on your side of the encounter. Give one help card from your Essence card cash to one of those players and then gain one reward. A player who has been given a help card can keep it face up or face down and look at it. Other players may give their help cards back to you for the timing on the help card. When they do, use this power to provide the help as instructed. Then either gain one reward, or if you can, immediately use the help card for yourself. You may do so before placing the card face up in the unavailable pile. Yeah. And then there's a list of the different help cards. I, I like this. Assistant, I would rather be helpful than just get the rewards to myself. Because uh, other people want you to do well, but secretly you're doing it for yourself. And that's more fun. Assistant, very good thing. 
Um, all right. Coward versus glutton. A coward has the power to flee. Uh, as a main player, after cards are selected, but before they're revealed, you can run away. Uh, your opponent wins, your ships and those of your allies return home, uh, and your flight counts as a success for you rather than a loss. After encounter cards are discarded, you receive one reward for each ship your opponent had in the encounter. You're not getting any... Uh, you're not landing. Um... Yeah, your opponent wins. That's the the trick. So, sorry. Yeah, your opponent wins, but you are successful. So you get to go again. It can or on defense. Yeah, it. Coward's weird, but still kind of useful. You're not dying. Uh, Glutton, on the other hand, whenever you retrieve ships from the warp, uh, you get two extra ships. Whenever you draw one or more cards, uh, or from another player's hand, you draw two extra cards. I like Glutton. Glutton just gets more of everything. Um, and this isn't that Coward's bad. Coward takes a lot more skill to run. But Glutton has this elegance in the simplicity of you just get two more of everything. So Glutton, going to move forward, has a lot to like. Uh, Fury accumulates these tokens uh, on the power every time they lose ships, and then the tokens count as a bonus three, and Fury becomes very potent at the end game. Fury is fantastic. Sloth, on the other hand, um, gets a Sloth token. Uh, and then is lazy. It's the offense or an ally. You, whenever you should send ships into the encounter, use the power to send the sloth token in their place. Uh, and then uh, after cards are selected, but before they're revealed, you replace the sloth token with zero to four of your ships for many of your colonies. Uh, if you replace the, the sloth token with zero ships, you must still continue your encounter um, unless... You were an ally, in which case you're no longer an ally. Um, I don't know. It's Sloth is a power. I'm not sure it's a very good power. It would be fine in double power games. But Fury, I actually get excited about losing ships. And there's a lot more to like with Fury. Um, that being said, there's a lot more to like with Fury because you become offensively potent at the end. Uh, versus Glutton, which is depending on getting a bunch of stuff, having a lot of cards, and people still want to just draw cards from Glutton anyways. So then we have the Fury Assistant battle. Um, and... Assistant... Yeah. I... I like all these essence cards. Uh, if you have lost a home colony, the assistant will recolonize uh, it for you uh, using either ships from your other colonies or from the warp. The assistant will redistribute your ships uh, however you want. When you draw a new hand, the assistant will pre-screen it for you, discarding some of the cards, uh, returning to you a more efficient and useful hand. At any time, the assistant will find you a card you name in the discard pile and give it to you. The assistant will retrieve any and all of your ships from the warp. Uh, after a player other than, than the assistant has chosen whether or not to ally and or how many ships to bring, the assistant will override that player's decision per your instructions. So, eh, you know what? You wanted to bring one? Nah, you should bring four. Assistant can ch can change the shape of the game. Fury, yes, can win a battle. Assistant can change multiple battles. So I'm bringing Assistant over. And there we go. So we'll have a matchup of Insect versus Assistant in the round of 32, which will happen eh, in a few weeks. We're getting there. All right. Thank you for watching. Till next time.
keep rushing up your game. Take care. Bye.